That's our planet from 750 million miles away. I think the Earth has got a strange property that the further away you get from it, the more beautiful it seems. But that is not the most distant or most famous picture of our planet. It was taken by this thing, which is called the Voyager spacecraft. And that's a, a picture of me in front of it for um, scale. Voyager is a tiny machine. It's currently 10 billion miles away from Earth, transmitting with that dish with the power of 20 watts, and we're still in contact with it. But it visited Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And after it had visited all four of those planets, Carl Sagan, who's one of my great heroes, had the, the wonderful idea of turning Voyager around and taking a picture of every planet it had visited. And it took this picture of Earth. Now, it's very hard to see the Earth there. It's called a pale blue dot picture. But Earth is suspended in that red shaft of light. That's Earth from four billion miles away. And I'd like to read you what Sagan wrote about it, just to, to finish, because I cannot say words as beautiful as this to describe what he saw in that picture that he had taken. He said, consider again that dot. That's here, that's home, that's us. On it, every, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregates of joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. It's been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. Beautiful words about the power of science and exploration.